So when we're performing nerve stretches for the upper limb, we need to stretch one end of the nerve and relax the other end of the nerve. So in particular, we're gonna be relaxing and stretching the neck, and then we're going to be relaxing and stretching the hand and the arm. So this first one's for the median nerve. So to stretch the neck, we're going to be going away from the painful side. And to relax the neck, we're going to move our head towards the painful side. And then with the hand, to stretch the nerve from the hand, we're going to have the arm outstretched with the wrist pointing down. And then to relax the hand, we're going to have the hand up facing our shoulder in that position. So while we're stretching one end of the nerve, we need to relax the other end. So the whole movement is going to be stretching the nerve while relaxing the head and then stretching the head and relaxing the hand like this. And if you perform 10 repetitions of this, then try to repeat that as many times a day as you can. So this one's for the radial nerve, which goes down the back of the arm, and that's where the symptoms for this nerve can be. So it's the same principle. We're gonna be stretching one end of the nerve while relaxing the other end, and the movement with the head is the same. So if I'm going towards the painful side, I'm gonna be relaxing the nerve at the head end, and if I go away from the painful side, I'll be stretching it. And then with the hand, what you're going to need to do is to wrap the thumb in, wrap the fingers around it, bend the wrist, and then turn the arm in like this. So that's stretching the nerve. And then to relax the nerve, you'll do the opposite. So kind of up in this position. So the whole movement is going to be stretching the nerve here and relaxing the head. And then the opposite. And again, just try and do this 10 times and repeat as many times a day as you feel you benefit from. So the third and final one we're going to do is the ulnar nerve, which comes on the inside of the arm and into the forefinger and the pinky finger. And this one's the opposite of the other ones. So to stretch this nerve out from the, the arm, we're going to put the hand in this position against the head like this. And then to relax the nerve, we're going to bend our fourth and fifth fingers and then put it down by our side. So the whole movement is kind of the opposite of the other ones. So in this position here, you're gonna be stretching the nerve out, but relaxing the head. And in this position here, you're gonna be relaxing the arm out, but stretching from the head. So the whole movement is this.